Okay, this is the front tower off of my Montgomery Ward's Master Quality rotary mower. Um, basically, the way this tower is lubricated, there is a well, you'd have your nut for your pulley, obviously. It's not, this isn't fully together. But there is a cap on here that you unscrew, and the cap says oil. And what you do, you pour your oil in here, and there's a piece of felt down in there. And then you tighten that nut. Another oil reservoir is this here. You take that out, and you fill the chamber with oil. Um, there's a drain on here. And you can see this is where the blade hub and everything goes on. Now, the way this works on the Ward's Master Quality is... I just recently got this freed out. This thing sat for a long time. Okay. There we go. You have your bronze bushing on the top and the bottom and if you look in there you see there's a little bit of difference in the center there is actually a felt collar in there in between the upper and lower bushings there is a ring of felt so that way and, there, and actually there's actually a little packet in here like a little thing of uh, kind of like fuzzy fabric inside of a little netting so basically your oil goes in here and it soaks into the felt. So as the blade's turning, when it slowly uses up the oil that's going in, the oil soaks back into the felt and re-lubricates, so on and so forth. And that's lubricating the lower bushing. Now the upper bushing, if you look on the underside of the pulley, there's actually a felt washer on there too as a seal. I'm not sure if there's supposed to be one on the bottom because there wasn't one, but we will see as I do it later. And anyway, as you see, this pulley or the jack shaft has a cross hole on it on both sides. And it also has these spiral grooves cut into the shaft. Now what that is, is when you fill this upper reservoir with oil, it'll slowly come through these holes run through the oil grooves and lube the upper bushing on this shaft shaft assembly for the deck. Now, obviously the lower one you'd probably do, you probably wouldn't do the lower one as much as you'd be doing the top one because the top one, it's there's not much of oil reservoir. It's basically just this little height and that's your oil amount. So I'm assuming you had to do that one more often than the lower one. Plus, when the cover's on the deck, only the upper one is visible. So I'm assuming they figured this is maybe once, twice a year maintenance, and this one is every time you use the machine. But I'll post uh, more on this video as I go, or on this uh, mower as I get further along. I still have no idea who made this for wards, but... It's a very heavy built machine for being a rotary mower and the fact that it's a rotary mower in the early 50s is very interesting because most were real mowers. And that's it for now.